Hey everyone, welcome to Bourbon Bites. My name is Clifton and today we're reviewing Larceny Barrel Proof B522. If you guys saw my review of the A122 batch from this year, you know that I feel like Heaven Hill really one up themselves with that release. If you missed that one, I'll put a link to it up there. It was by far my favorite Larceny Barrel Proof yet, which is why I'm so excited for B522, the second batch of 2022. Huge shout out to Heaven Hill for continuing to provide these samples for review. If you are new to Larceny Barrel Proof, um, Larceny is a brand from Heaven Hill. This is their three times a year release of a barrel proof version. So they do the A batch in January, the B batch in May and the C batch usually around September. So B522 comes in at 123.8 proof, which is just a little bit lower than the A batch. And of course, this carries the same six to eight year age statement as other Larceny releases. Now I did notice the retail price of this seems to have gone up a bit. It says it should be $59.99. I'm pretty sure with last release and the, the ones before that, it was $49.99, which I mean, I can't really remember the last time I even saw it for that low of a price, uh, but it looks like they are increasing it along the lines of what they did with Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Which for a six to eight year old barrel proof weeded bourbon, I think that's a fair price and I'd be happy to pay that. But let's go ahead and give this one a nose, okay? Similar to the A batch, I actually did just have a pour of that right before this one. If you are a regular here, you'll know that once the C batch comes out later this year, I'll do a live stream where I'm blind comparing all three batches to see which one was the best one this year. So if you wanna make sure you don't miss that, hit that subscribe button down below and hit the bell icon just so you'll be notified every time I make a video or go live. And hit the thumbs up while you're down there, it helps a lot. This has tons of that wonderful baked good note that I always get with Barrel Proof Heaven Hill products. Um, this one definitely leans on the sweeter side. It's less of kind of like the doughy kind of note, but more of the sweet powdered sugar a little bit on the nose. There's a little bit of like a toasted note there too. So some of that like sweet marshmallow, toasted marshmallow. I don't recall getting that on the A batch. So that's really interesting. And it's one of my favorite notes. You can definitely tell the proof on this one because it singes the nose hairs quite a bit, um, but I can't wait to see how it tastes. Let's go and give it a try. Cheers guys. Dang, still a lot of that toasted oak note. And I'm pretty sure this isn't a toasted barrel release. I think this is just the standard Larceny Barrel Proof. But for some reason, that really bright um, marshmallow mixed with a little bit of like smoky wood note is really forefront on this one. Mid palette is like a juicy, um, like strawberry tart or something in that realm. Um, that's kind of where I go towards with the baked note on this one. Sometimes it goes like pie, like apple pie. This one though, it's still really bright, almost like strawberries that have been like soaked in sugar. It's super sweet. And there's a bit of cherry too. Definitely like some kind of cherry pie filling kind of note as well. And there's a bit of like a cooling, like kind of menthol kind of situation on the back of the palate, which is really interesting. I don't usually get that with like a weeded bourbon. Usually that's with like a rye bourbon. Chocolate as well on the back end, kind of like a mint chocolate chip. I'm making myself real hungry while I'm reviewing this. <laughs> In terms of the finish, it does feel a little light. Um, usually I kind of expect, especially with these barrel proof releases, that they're gonna be big and bold and linger. This, I think maybe it's just that mintiness that's kind of making it dissipate pretty quickly. You definitely get the proof up front. It just feels like on the back end, it kind of tapers off quicker than I would have expected. But yeah, I think this is another solid release in the Larceny Barrel Proof line. Do I like it better than the A batch? Well, I don't know. So I'll have to try it blind later this year. So like I said, come back for that full comparison. But for $60, if this is the batch you see on the shelves, I still recommend picking this up. It's a fantastic barrel proof bourbon from one of my favorite distilleries. If you are a little hesitant with that kind of minty note that I'm pulling out, you may not get it yourself. Of course, you know, everyone one's experience is different. But if you are sensitive to that, maybe consider getting the A batch. I don't remember getting that at all on that release. This one though, it keeps me coming back because it's so different than what I'm used to. I still feel like this is remarkably better than the previous batches of Larceny Barrel Proof that came pre-A122. I think the 2021 releases were just kind of meh, and I think a lot of people in the community felt that, but I think they really, really upped their game in 2022. So if you guys have tried this one, make sure to leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. I really haven't seen very many reviews of it, and I'm super curious to hear what you guys think about it compared to previous batches if you've tried them. But thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, come back later this year for the A122, B522, and C922 live blind flight. Those are so much fun. Um, check out the one I did for the 2021 releases here, but definitely make sure you're subscribed if you want to see the one for 2022. Until next time, this has been Bourbon Bites Whiskey Reviews with a gaming twist. Cheers, and I'll see you next video.